I'm Jessica and I've written seven orchestral portraits of pioneering women that are featured in the National Portrait Gallery in London. I first had the idea of writing portraits and music a number of years ago. I love portraiture in general, it's I think my favourite type of visual art and I just thought why not do that in music? To me I feel like people are the most inspiring subjects there are and to me, writing music about an individual that I find interesting is a great starting point for my own creative process. I was given the book of 100 pioneering women um, that the National Portrait Gallery has published. I looked through this book and um, found seven that I immediately instinctively connected with. They're all different from all different times, all different eras, from all different professions. But something about the portraits really struck me and I could really hear the music that might accompany that person or represent them. I really went into each one thinking about them as people, their significance in the world and also the pictures themselves because each portrait was so evocative of how the artists would want them to be seen. So Amy Johnson was an aviation pioneer. She was the first woman to fly solo from England to Australia in 1930. There's a picture of her with her plane behind her. She's got her hand up on the propeller and she's got this big smile on her face. And I think everything that I've read about her and research just shows me how much she loved flying, how passionate she was about aviation and how unusual that was at the time to be a woman in that world. The music for Amy was all about her joy of flight. It's all about lift. There's a middle section which is a little bit more somber um, and that reflects the fact that Amy, she actually bailed out during World War II in 1941. Her body was never found and she died very prematurely. But then the music takes off for a really uplifting end section. And for me, that's all about the fact that Amy died doing what she truly loved doing. Jocelyn Bell Bernal is an astrophysicist, probably most famous for discovering the neutron star, or radio pulsars. And this turned out to be the beginning of one of the biggest astrophysics discoveries of the 20th century. This portrait of Jocelyn has her looking up at the camera with loads of books behind her, including the Atlas of Galaxies. And I think it's no coincidence that she's looking up at you. Um, I think that is deliberate, and I think that is a nod to the fact that she's looking up at the stars. I wanted the music for Jocelyn to have a sense of celestial grandeur. I've got a bubbling, very high filigree piano texture with um, an instrument called the celeste, which is a very bell-like and, and starry-like sound. And beneath that is a very deep bass and cello melody. And that distance gives, hopefully, a sense of space and the vastness of space. For me, it's all about mystery and the majesty of the stars, which I think Jocelyn embodies in her work. And I wanted to celebrate her success and her work and her passion for physics. So Malala is an incredibly inspiring person to me. She is famous for having been shot in the head by the Taliban at a very, very young age. Despite this horrific act, she came back even stronger and fought for the rights of girls all over the world to have an education. For the musical portrait of Malala, I actually focused on her speech to the UN Youth Assembly in 2018. I found her speech so dignified, but also I was so impressed by her positivity. It's incredibly inspiring to the leaders that she's talking to. I wanted to reflect that in the music by creating a wall of sound that grows and builds. And at the end, I really wanted to, to focus in on one quote, which is her famous quote, one child, one teacher, one book, one pen can change the world. And I have a single chord that builds from nothing in the orchestra to the biggest possible sound they can make. I really hope when people listen to this music that they'll be moved emotionally in the same way that I have been and they might be inspired 
to learn more about these incredible pioneering women. Thank you.